so what's up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel so if you are tired of changing rooms and doing setups again and again i have a solution for you through how you can take a full android backup and after that you can restore that in your installed custom room it's quite easy it's quite simple make sure to watch this video till the end i'll try to show you everything this is the part one in which I'll show you that how you can make a full Android backup but in the part second I'll show you that how you can restore that after installing a room. Make sure to like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload the part two of this video so let's get started. Okay, so for taking a full Android backup, we first need root. So if you have Magisk installed, then you're good to go. And if you don't have Magisk installed, make sure to install Magisk first. And how to install that Magisk? It's quite simple. There are a lot of tutorials available on the internet. Go and check it out right now and install Magisk. If you have installed Magisk, second step we need is this app Migrate and the link for this app is in the description. Go and check it out from there. It will show you some of these things, a short tool, you can click on next, blah, 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 accept and here. We have the option of the please test the app once, okay, 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 here it is. This one is a very cool and interesting app for making a full Android backup and you can see the all options are available, backup, restore by TWRP and preferences. What we need is, we need to click on backup and here it will ask you a storage permission, click on allow and then it will ask for root permission which is quite necessary. And after granting the root permission, we also need to grant usage access permission. So click on access here, click there migrate, click on permit usage access and now you are done go back and click on backup again now it will ask you which apps you want backup and one of the best thing is if you have noticed you have the option of app data and permissions i will not recommend you to choose this one option which is the last one a permission option i will recommend you to choose app and data that would be helpful for you because if you are using uh, aosp based rooms and then you are going to install a miui based rooms that would be quite complicated for you to restore that apps data with permissions but yes you can take still full backup if you want to so let us consider i am gonna back up add away bitly chrome dpay i'll not recommend you to choose chrome also because if you are going to use any other room which has the google apps pre-installed that will also conflict with your device maybe it could crash too so it's already it's great for you if you take backup of some other things like idm plus which i mostly use for downloads i can choose a launcher kind master and a lot more things mx player pro snap mode and whatever else so i have just clicked there and all the things are ticked here i can also select single single or i can select fully so let us consider we will select all these things all the three things app data and permissions after that what you need to click on you click on next button and then it will ask you to choose a contacts backup sms call logs default keyboard screen dpi app installers idv state and font scale so app installer okay it's good these were the things which we have just done and now we need contacts backup also don't take contacts backup because that's available in google contacts for you if you have a backup in google contacts then it will be available for you and if you have phone backup you can take a backup if you want to click this one and this will also show you some warning like not recommended because if you are signing it with google then it will conflict with that so you can still backup contacts anyway if you want to so just click on allow and it will all it will take the backup of all the contacts as it is done now we'll take the sms backup it will ask for sms permissions it will ask for call logs and okay then it will ask for some other things and i'll not recommend you to choose other things like screen dpi or adb state or font scale nothing else click on start backup and here the main part is if you need to backup on internal storage 
uh, make sure you have a proper backup of internal storage because if you install a ROM and format data here backup will be deleted too so you can choose the SD card but then it will ask you for this magisk module which if you don't want to install just click on internal storage and then then just move the internal storage backup to SD card you are good to go click on ok it will take some time and here it is this is how it will start backing up your device data like apps plus data and a lot more things and as you can see every process is automated we don't need anything and as you can see finished no errors it's done and this is the backup name the gyps created and it's completed in just 11 seconds it's quite interesting click on close and you're done how to restore that wait for my part 2 video this was all from today's video i hope you like it just do these steps and i'm coming back very soon with the part 2 of the video so this was all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day